India to launch its first human underwater submersible this year. After a long delay, India's marine scientists are confident of launching country's first manned deep sea submersible this year. Now, if India succeeds, it will become only the sixth nation in the world to achieve this feat, after Russia, France, Japan, China and the United States of America. Now, Union Minister of State Dr. Jitendra Singh, who chaired the meeting of the steering committee on deep ocean mission on Thursday, said that though the project has faced delays due to the pandemic, but it is now on course and India is preparing to launch its first deep sea submersible in the Indian Ocean very soon. Now, the submersible will initially be tested to operate at a depth of about 500 meters and then return to the surface. But the subsequent goal is to reach a staggering depth of nearly 6,000 meters which will happen in due course of time. In a previous interview to CNN News 18, Dr. M. Ravi Chandran, the Secretary, Ministry of Earth Sciences, who earlier led NCPOR in Goa, said that the final target is 6,000 meters, which is the deepest point in the Indian Ocean. But before scientists attempt that, they have to demonstrate that they can safely go at least 500 meters beneath the sea. Now, this will involve a sphere-shaped capsule made of steel, which has already undergone underwater testing in the Bay of Bengal. But the final manned submersible, which is called Matsya 6000, will be made of a titanium alloy. Unlike steel, titanium can withstand the increasing pressure at the bottom of the sea. The sphere will accommodate three persons armed with a suit of scientific sensors and tools to collect data and observations. The manned submersible is being developed at Chennai's National Institute of Ocean Technology, NIOT, in association with a team from Vikram Sarabhai Space Centre. It is no easy exercise and the team from as many as six institutes have had to encounter several challenges to build India's first manned submersible. They have to ensure that the sphere withstands the high pressure in the sea. It will also require a life support system for the crew to breathe. Then it also has to go down and come up when required. Dr. Ravi Chandran tells us that if the weight exceeds even one gram than expected, it will not come up. So all the measurements have to be very precise before it goes for the final review and certification under the global rules. Now, planned at an overall cost of rupees 4,077 crore for a period of five years, starting 2021-22, this deep ocean mission is in the first phase. The mission is a significant boost to India's research and marine science and explore the vast depths of the Indian Ocean. India's ambition to send its scientists into the deepest point of the Indian Ocean is also driven by its plan to explore and mine the valuable deposits of metals like copper, zinc, aluminium, platinum hidden under the seabed. The expedition will be a starting point for many automatic and robotic underwater missions in the near future, equipped with an integrated mining system. So here we all are waiting for this expedition to take off very soon this year.